Josh Rackless with VIP TV, and who do we have here? Uh, Paul Schrader. The director of Dog Eat Dog. And uh, I was just talking to the writer, and he seems a bit unhinged, so I can imagine this movie was quite the experience. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I, I've been doing it a while. I, I don't know what would unhinge me anymore at this point, but this was a chance to do something uh, completely different than I'd ever done before. A kind of loosey-goosey, profane, uh, no rules kind of uh, deconstruction of a crime genre. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, I have been involved over the decades and in uh, some important and prestigious films. Yeah, you wrote Taxi Driver, uh, Raging Bull. Well, this is not one of them. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, is it gonna be? People are gonna say uh, these are the three pinnacles of cinema that you have reached. No, not quite. Were you looking for something like this, or did you just read that and go, okay, this looks like fun? Uh, Nick and I were looking for something, and uh, I, I, I had never really thought about doing a, a crime genre film. But uh, somebody, uh, I saw this script and I thought, gee, I think Nick might like to do this. Now, Nicolas Cage, uh, was he thinking, oh, finally a movie where I can sort of act crazy? Which is a joke because he's always... Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it was the opposite. Uh, the, the crazy role is the mad dog role. Okay. And I gave it to him for the mad dog role. And he read it and he said, yeah, I'd like to do it, but I want to play the straight guy. I, I want to play Troy. Yeah. And so that left the Mad Dog role, which is actually the best role, kind of open, and I was able to offer it to Wilt. I guess if you got to go to the next crazy person, yeah. that's what you do. Well, it's you know, Wild at Heart Part 2. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, it, I, you, did you write Last Temptation of Christ or direct? Yeah. yeah. And was this kind of like an inside joke? Let's get Jesus to play this nutcase? Well, I, this is my fifth time around with Willem, so... Okay, I, so there's no more... Yeah. You know how to do everything. Yeah. Very cool. Um, what do you what do you think you might do next after this? Like, is uh, I, well, I'm doing a film in January with Ethan Hawke and uh, Manu Seyfried, which is totally different than this film. Uh, 180 degrees different. This film is very vulgar and very profane and uh, very uh, uh, outrageous. Uh, and uh, the next film is going to be a spiritual film. Oh, cool. All right, so you're, you're going to re redeem yourself, so to speak. Yeah, so I get to work the other side of my interior life. Yeah, which do you, do you do for writing, directing, doing both? Or? Well, whenever I'm asked that question, I always give the answer that Truffaut gave, which he said, uh, when I'm editing, I like writing best. When I'm writing, I like directing best. Right. And when I'm directing, I like editing best. All right. <laughs> oh, and you play a character in this, don't you? You have a cameo? Yeah, I have uh, three scenes, actually. Oh, that's uh, that's three. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, we, we tried to get a number of other people, and uh, in the end, I was the only one we could afford. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, I'm, I'm sure you're awesome. I'm sure you'll <laughs> cast yourself again. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Never, never, never. Well, yeah, Matthew Wilder and I uh, have come up with a crazy, it's almost a porno movie together, so we'd love you to direct it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Good luck with the film.